music on your favorite station. Unbelievable. Holy shit!
And you're a gentleman, you're a gentleman. I need 2320, 2320, and 1901. You have visits. Check it out the speaker so you don't miss them. Hey, Woodward, you've got visitors. All right, follow me. There he is. Hi, Mom. I'm so glad to see you, honey. Are you all right? You look so pale. Given the circumstances, I think I'm okay. It's good to see you, son. Yeah, you too, Dad. All right, let's get things started, shall we? Please, take a seat. So, have you made any progress? Regarding your son's murder charges, I've got some good news and some bad news. I didn't do it. I just want to make that clear. We know that, son. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Mr. Woodward, whatever you did or didn't do is irrelevant at the moment. As I was saying, the good news is I was able to get your indictment dismissed, which means you'll get a new grand jury hearing. It'll be held on March 15th. That's wonderful news. Did you hear that, son? You'll get a second chance. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. See, the bad news is, a new DA has just been assigned to this case, and she's a tough one. She's been the prosecutor in six different murder trials, and she's won every single one of them. Well, you're a good lawyer, David. You'll think of something. I'm doing my best, but the evidence is pretty overwhelming. Your son's fingerprints were all over the murder weapon. Listen, I've told you a million times. I was at her apartment, and yes, we had a small argument, but she was alive when I left. I swear to God. We believe you, son. We believe you. <sighs> Alright, here's the deal. If we go to the trial, which is very likely, basically we've got two options. Option one, we build this case on the basis that you were framed, which will be extremely hard to prove. Option two, we negotiate a plea bargain. She attacked you with a knife. You try to take it away from her and accidentally stabbed her. It'll be ruled as self-defense. You'll be out in five years. But that's not true. D Dad, say something. Five years? That's out of the question. There's no way we can accept that. Trust me, it's better than the maximum penalty the DA is going for. What's the maximum penalty? 35. Jesus Christ! I can't spend the rest of my life here. I, I was supposed to go to business school this year. Th this is insane. Everything's gonna be alright, honey. We'll think of something. Trust me, son. We'll do everything to get you out of here as soon as possible. Well, the cards are on the table. Now we just need to make the right moves. We won't take the plea deal, David. Look, I've known you for a long time, Elliot. You're a smart guy. I suggest you start thinking about what's best for your son. 35 years, huh? That's what I heard.
Morning. I should have known you're here already. Good morning, Bill. How was your vacation? It was pretty good. Teresa had a wonderful time. I had some trouble getting used to the time difference. Other than that, everything went great. So, how have things been here? It's been a quiet week. Except for this one, of course. Well, this doesn't look like an accident. No, it certainly wasn't. At first I thought it could have been an engine fire, or maybe a fuel leak. But something tells me there's more than that. What made you change your mind? Well, the victim was in the driver's seat when we found her. Which means that she was in the car when it burst into flames. In that case, wouldn't she have time to escape? Maybe she was passed out. Maybe she hit something. On a straight road? So far, we haven't found any proof of that. Yeah, you're right. This all seems highly suspicious. I suppose this is the victim. Yeah, but trust me, you don't want to see her. So what do we know about her? Nothing except the gender. We can only guess, but I'd say that she was maybe 20 to 30 years old. Did you find any documents? Driver's license, registration, anything like that? No, but if there were any, it all burned down with the car. We need a statement from the dental examiner. It's hard to continue the investigation if we don't even know who this person is. I'll give him a call on the radio. Hey, Sheriff! Over here! I think we found something. Right here, sir! Be damned. It's from a 12 gauge. There are a couple more here. Put them in the evidence bag. We gotta check them for fingerprints. Yes, sir. Hey, Carson. Tell the boys to block the road and isolate that area. This is now officially a crime scene. All right, if you say so. What are you thinking? These cigarette butts. Somebody was standing right here, and waiting. Lieutenant Bryan, Alan Denny. Sit down, Miss Denny. You have no right to drag me down here to the police station and keep me waiting so long. I think I'm entitled to some explanation. She says she hasn't seen Roy Wood in a week. That's true. Exactly how many times did you see Roy Wood altogether? I don't know. I didn't stop to count. You heard from him in the last week? I... No, I haven't heard from him. Where is he now? I told you I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what we want him for? No. We think he killed a policeman. That's not so. We wish it weren't. Now, okay, what's wrong? Form, you seem nervous. Into, young lady. I I'm fine, honey. I'm fine. Just, just thinking about the case, up. that's all. all right. Don't worry about that. We'll get through this together. We just gotta be strong. Yeah, you're fact, right. The sergeant was bringing you down here. A Western Union messenger boy knocked on your door. You didn't know that we have a couple of men watching your house day and night, did you? Tonight's case was dramatized by Stanley Ness and directed by William Sweets, with Les Damon and Deli Ellis in leading roles. And now, the local news. Good evening. A 21-year-old local resident, Jake Woodward, will face his second grand jury hearing next month. Woodward is accused of murdering his girlfriend, Cassandra Long, after a heated argument, which took place at her apartment in Jamestown. The victim was stabbed twice in the chest and died instantly. The defendant has pleaded not guilty to all charges. The new district attorney, Mary Anderson, talked about the case this morning. Elliot, come here quick. It's her, the new DA. 
Yeah, I think we're on solid ground here. We've got the fingerprints on the murder weapon, and a testimony from a neighbor who heard the couple arguing several times. Do you think you'll get the indictment this time? The evidence speaks for itself, so there's a very good chance for that. If we go to the trial, it will be a quick one. That I can promise. Is it true that you're going to be requesting the maximum penalty? I think it's a bit too early to discuss about the possible sentence, but I've always said that in these types of cases, the punishment must be harsh. We will do everything to get justice for the victim and her family. She's got some nerve. Uh, this interview, that's from yesterday, right? No, they said it's from this morning. God damn it. Elliot? Where are you going? I'm just gonna get some fresh air. I'll be right back. Clyde, some fella just called. He wants to speak with you. Whoever the fuck it is, tell him I'm not here. I think you better take this. The guy said it's urgent. Yeah, I was just about to come see you. It's done. I took care of it. What do you mean you took care of it? The thing, you know, it's all taken care of. Listen. I don't know what the hell you've done, but she's still alive. Excuse me? The DA. I just saw her on the news. That's impossible. I tailed her for two days. I even have her ID right here. Well, what does it say? Hold on a sec. Anderson. Mary Catherine. Born in 1951. You can't be serious. Mary Joan Anderson. The DA was born in 1943. Holy shit. Oh god. This cannot be happening. Okay, take it easy. I'm a man of my word. If you still want her gone, it won't cost you any extra. Are you insane? This has gone too far already. I think we need to pull a plug on this. Seriously? Well, it's your loss. What do you mean it's my loss? I want my money back. It doesn't work that way, Elliot. I can finish the job, but that's it. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Yes, I do. And I would choose my next words very carefully if I were you. All right, all right. I just need a couple of days to clear my thoughts. That sounds like a wise decision. Oh, and one more thing. Don't ever call me again. If you want to talk, you know where to find me. Wendy, what the hell is this? Oh, that? It's called a computer. It's under C in the dictionary. Now that's very funny. I know what it is, but what is it doing on my desk? The state reform project. A what? Our county is one of the first to take part in that. To us, it means modern equipment. Don't tell me you didn't know about this. I guess I didn't get the memo. That's the future, Bill. Better get used to it. Do I have a choice? I still don't understand what's wrong with typewriters. Oh, I almost forgot. We got the results of the dental analysis. Let me see that. Mary Anderson, 25 years old, from Carrington. Have the relatives been informed yet? I called the Foster County Sheriff's Office. They said they would send someone to see her parents. That's good. They'll need all the support they can get. So, do we have a theory on who might have done this? In these kinds of violent crimes, the perpetrator is usually someone close. 
In this case, maybe a jealous boyfriend or a husband. I don't think her parents had anything to do with it. The report said she was unmarried. We're still trying to find out if she was seeing anyone. Well, maybe her parents can give an answer to that. This is a very strange case, you know? The victim was from a good background, she had no criminal records or any major troubles in life. There just seems to be no reasonable cause why someone would want to kill her. Whatever the motive was, we know that the murder was carefully planned. Someone was waiting for her at that intersection. Hey Chief, there's someone here to see you. Sheriff Hughes, I've heard a lot about you. It's an honor to meet you, sir. What can I do for you? I heard about your investigation. See, I live about half a mile from that crime scene, and I have some information that might interest you. All right, I'm listening. A few nights ago, I woke up in the middle of the night. Our dog was barking like crazy. Down, boy, down! My first thought was that there were some uninvited guests on our property. Wouldn't have been the first time, you know? I looked around but didn't see anything. Nothing out of the ordinary. Then I saw headlights in this car. It was heading east. I couldn't see the driver, but whoever it was, they were in a hurry. In the morning, I heard about that accident. This car you saw, how would you describe it? There was a blizzard that night, so visibility was pretty bad, but it looked fairly new. A two-door coupe. Maybe a Chrysler or Dodge? I'm not sure. So, you said the car was heading east? That's right, and it was coming straight from the direction where that girl was found. So I thought this person might have something to do with it. Do you remember what time this happened? It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Is there anything else you can tell us? I'm sorry, that's all I can think of. Well, thank you very much for your help, sir. Our receptionist will take down your name and address. We'll be in touch if we have any more questions for you. All right. It was a pleasure to meet you, Sheriff. Hey, boss. I've got good news for you. That road where you found those cigarette butts? The boys and I decided to search the area one more time, and guess what we found? The Illusion. It's a nightclub in Fargo. Might be worth checking out. Excuse me, are you the owner of this place? Yes I am, and we're not open yet. Come back later. Do I look like your typical customer? As a matter of fact, you do. Hey, I think I recognize you. Yeah, you're that sheriff. I saw you on TV a couple years ago. Yeah, that's me. You're a goddamn hero, you know that? I was only doing my job. Besides, if it wasn't for my deputy, I wouldn't be standing here today. Is that so? Listen, I need to answer a few questions. Okay, what do you want to know? Does this look familiar to you? Yeah, sure. It's one of ours. How many of these have you sold? It's hard to say. This one has our new logo, so I guess maybe a hundred or so. Do you know anyone who might have bought one of these? Any suspicious looking fellas? You don't know where you are, do you? Anybody who comes here is suspicious looking. Does any particular name come to your mind? I'm not very good with names. I just serve drinks. Oh well, uh, perhaps uh, this will freshen up your memory. You know what? Now when I think about it, there's this one guy who came to my mind. He's a regular. And the name? I think we're gonna have to do some renovations here, but it's gonna cost so... Clyde Dodson. Like I said, he's a regular. Comes here every week. He's a decent guy, always leaves a good tip, but there's something off about him. Any idea where I can find him? This is strictly confidential, right? I don't want to get in trouble. Of course. This is between you and me. Alright then. He owns a scrapyard in Clementsville. That'll do. Thanks for your time. Hey, Sheriff. 
You didn't hear this from me, but some guy called here the other night. He sounded nervous and said he had some urgent business with Clyde. Did you catch his name? Yeah, Elliot something. All right, we'll look into it. Thanks. Hey, where are you going? We've still got work to do. What's up, pretty boy? Look, guys, I don't want any trouble. We don't want any trouble either. We just want to talk. See, we heard you had visitors the other day. It's nice to have visitors. We don't have that kind of luxury here. What do you want? Next time you see your pedants, you're going to give this to them. What is this? Just simple instructions. No, no, no. I won't make them do it. Why not? It will be an easy job. I'll make sure that the guards won't check them. You're out of your mind. I won't do it. I'm sure your mom and dad wouldn't want anything to happen to their precious little boy. Am I right? Fuck you. Ow! No! 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 Concussion, dislocated shoulder, two broken ribs. He'll live, but he's gonna need some time to heal. Did they catch whoever did this? I'm afraid not. No one really saw what happened. I'm sorry. Oh, for Christ's sakes. What kind of place is this? Y you're gonna let some assholes beat up an innocent kid and, and you don't do anything about it? Sir, there's no need to yell at me. I'm doing everything I can to help your son. Can we go see him? Not right now. He's heavily sedated and needs some time to rest and heal. Mrs. Woodward, this can take a while. You and your husband can go home now. I'll give you a call when your son wakes up. No, we will stay here. All right. You can wait in the canteen if you want. I'll come see you when the time is right. Thank you again, Doctor. Listen, Alice, I, I gotta go. What? You can't leave now. I just remembered that I promised the boys that I'd be at the factory by afternoon. What's the matter with you? Your own son is in critical condition and all you can think about is work? It won't take long. I'll be back in a few hours. I promise. Elliot? I can't believe this. Who the hell are you? I'm the sheriff, and you must be Mr. Dodson. This is a private property. You need to get the hell out of here right now. That's a nice looking Chrysler. Is that yours? That's none of your goddamn business. Actually, it is. I'm investigating the murder of Mary Catherine Anderson. Does that name ring a bell? Never heard of it. Where were you on the night of February 7th? Probably in my bed, sleeping. You happen to know anyone called Elliot? No, I don't. Look, Sheriff, 
I don't know what the hell you are accusing me of, but I'm gonna give you two options. Either you arrest me now, or we can deal with this some other way. Now how is it going to be? Don't push your luck, mister. Either way, it's your choice. I'll be back. I'm looking forward to it. What did the cops want? Ah! 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 You ah! son of a bitch! Ah! What did you tell them? I didn't tell them anything! I swear to God! Ah! He came here and asked about ah! you, you fucking rat! No, please, no! I haven't talked to anyone! You gotta believe me! Ah! Ah! Let's just kill him now! No, no, no! You don't have to do this! Please! I'm begging you! Get up. No, don't do it, please. What the hell are you doing here? I need you to finish your job. You owe me that. This guy got some balls! No, 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 don't! He's right. I do owe him. Like I said, I'm a man of my word. I'll do this job, but after that, I don't want to hear about you ever again. Do you understand? Yes. Now go home, and don't come back. Hey, Roberts, where are those shotgun shells we found? They're on the desk right there. <laughs> Look, boss, I've already told you. We didn't find anything on them. It won't hurt to check again. I knew it. Roberts, come here. Now what is that? That looks like a fingerprint, sir. You didn't find anything, huh? Uh, I, I'm sorry, sir. I thought we'd check them all. God damn it. You gotta do everything yourself. I never thought I'd live long enough to see this day. Why isn't there any search options on this thing? It's like finding a needle in a haystack. What are you looking for? Clyde Dodson. I know this guy did it. I just need solid evidence. You have to go to the registers. There. No, the other one. This one? Yeah. Now press return and scroll up. Okay, let's see. D for Dodson.
Here it is. Clyde William Dodson, arrested three years ago for drunk driving and assault of a police officer. This guy's a Vietnam vet. Received an honorable discharge in 1971. So, what do you say? Looks like a perfect match to me. We got him. Let's go. Hey, Chief. I was just thinking. This girl, Mary Anderson. Does that name sound familiar to you? Well, I don't think so. Why? This might be a long shot, but have you ever heard of that DA who just took office? Oh, shit. You can't be serious. I mean, if I'm right, she might be in danger, you know? Call her house and send someone over there. Do it now. I can go there myself. No, you stay right here. Send someone else. Come on, Bill. Excuse me, are you Mrs. Anderson, the district attorney? Yes, I am. What is this all about? I'm Officer Roberts, and this is Officer Kelly. We're here to protect you, ma'am. We believe your life might be in danger. What are you talking about? I need to be in court in half an hour. We suggest that you don't leave your house today. We think someone has put a contract on you. Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea of how many death threats I get every week? That's not going to stop me from doing my job. We understand that, but still... I'm leaving. You can try to stop me. Okay, whatever you say, ma'am. But we're coming with you. Just follow us and stay close. You know what to do. Let's move.
Don't just stand there. Come on, help me get rid of him. It's done. Let's go. I think we got some company. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Where's that goddamn backup? This is 381221 calling all units. We need assistance immediately. I repeat. We've arrived at the location and need assistance. Over. What the hell's taking them so long? I don't know, but there are three guys over there and they're all armed. We're like sitting ducks here. We've got to move. Hey, Bill. I think this was a bad idea. Are you ready? Yeah. You take the right side, I'll take the left.
Come out, come out. Wherever you are. You can't keep hiding forever. Don't move. Drop the gun, Sheriff. That's not gonna happen. Don't make me do this. Drop the weapon or I'll shoot her. Is this really the way you want it to end? Hasn't there been enough bloodshed already? Do as I told, and no one gets hurt. If you pull that trigger, there's no chance for you to get out of here alive. You do realize that, don't you? All right, if that's what you want, I'll give you three seconds. One. You just made a big mistake, fella. Two. Three. Shit! You motherfucker. I told you I'd be back. You okay? Yeah, I think so. We know you're not the one behind all this. But you have something to tell us. I ain't telling you shit. Just say the word, Bill. Sure. Go ahead. We can do this all day. Just tell us the name. Okay, okay. Woodward. Elliot Woodward. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Get up, you bastard. Don't forget your hat. Mr. Woodward. Yes? You're under arrest for the murder of Mary Catherine Anderson and for conspiracy to murder District Attorney Mary Joanne Anderson. You have the right to remain silent. If you choose not to remain silent, anything you say or write can and will be used against you in a court of law. Elliot, what have you done? Everything's gonna be all right, honey. This is all just a misunderstanding. Please tell me this isn't true. 
Mrs. Woodward, can we go inside? We have a lot to discuss. Open cell number five. Step outside. Wh what's going on? You're a free man, Mr. Woodward. What? Some lowlife punk just confessed to the murder of your girlfriend. Are you serious? They found the real murder weapon at his apartment. This guy's a real creep. He had been following your girlfriend for months. So I... I can go? The case is now closed. Enjoy your freedom, Jake. Look at that view. Ain't that something? It sure is. You know what? I had a chance to leave this place once. They offered me a job in Tucson, Arizona. It would have been a well-paid job. Why didn't you take it? I wouldn't have liked the environment. Besides, I love this place. This is my hometown. It's the only place in the world where I feel comfortable being at. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. This is where I was born, and this is where I will spend the rest of my days. This place would be nothing without you. You're a good sheriff, Bill. The best this town has ever had. You're one hell of a deputy. Oh, crap. I think we gotta go. Yeah, let's go back to work.